now, you didn't think we'd start our vlog here, did you? I wonder who this could be. <laughs> All right, let's go inside and see. Dale. Morning everyone, this is probably my fourth retake at an intro. First one's a little bit too close. <laughs> so, all right, I'm out here with Dale for a little Thursdale session. As some of you guys might know, I'll link his channel and his socials in the description down below, but out here for a quick trip this morning before work. I need to get one last video of the Elite FS and Active Target done before I upgrade to the HDS Live 9 inch on my kayak. And I'll talk about that in a bit more detail in another video but we'll uh, get stuck into it go into the first gate um, the water's a little bit discolored this morning but we do have an incoming tide and just an absolutely perfect gorgeous morning no wind fish should be chewing let's get stuck into it I'd say we are. No, uh, no, but the hook did come over. So I'll just put some scent on. Just found a good little patch on active target under this bridge. And that was kind of first proper cast under there. And then I also cast out the uh, the paddle tail just for something different. Show them a little something else. I'll have two casts with a paddle tail. And then we'll keep moving. Oh, yep. Okay. Fish, whatever this is, well, it's scrapping hard anyway. What have we got? I think we've got a little pinky actually. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So that's what these could be. Pinky. All right, this nasty looking one is looking real good now. I think I've uh, got my eye in now. I think there's some better structure here. I think we might get one out of here. Get a brim or, yep, a little one. Little teeny tiny one. 
but that's okay. It's a start. He's eating that too. At least we're getting some action. Again, while that wasn't illegal, it's the process. That's positive. I might go over the rope just so I don't uh, spook the fish as I come up. That's it. And now I can go up as it's sinking down. Yep, yeah, that's better. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we're now we're getting somewhere. Next cast over the rope, that was cool. All right. Crystal alive, doing the damage again. Uh, it was a little bit slow for me first up this morning on the mass and a uh, couple of other lures. Threw the plastics around, got that pinky in the deep under the bridge, but have been struggling on the brim and uh, Crystal Alive's doing the job again. So I'll get it out and sh give you guys a good look in a second. But yeah, that was really cool capture. So little fish, but really pleased with that catch. And uh, you know, hopefully that just means we're onto something. The tide's starting to run out, getting some good current again, but also found some clean water further up the system. So it's, it's cleaned up um, as opposed to down the front near that gate. And uh, let's get moving on to the next boat. Had the normal before, but I think that was sinking a little bit quick for, for this place. I'm just seeing a few little ripples off this pontoon in front of me. Put a bit of scent on. Because I can't hurt. Get it nice and close. That's it. Oh, is that a fish there? Yep. Yep. Oh, <laughs> pretty much threw it in his mouth, I think. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was funny. I saw him swimming away with it. <laughs> that was the first cast. With the mass, saw them on the active target. They're all loaded up underneath. And uh, yeah, the mass got it done. Oh, I can hear big kisses too. Oh. All right, I'll be back. Okay, legal fish number two. I can't stress the importance of accurate casting anymore. That's That was the only reason I caught that fish, just due to a really nice tight close cast to the structure. Happy with that. Little fish, but uh, yeah, on a tough day, I'll take it. Dale's giving me a hard time. Perfect little cast again on the mass. Just had to be right in tight to that structure. All right, that's best fish of the morning so far. Accurate casting is the key here. All right, there it is. Off that pontoon. Thank you, Sea Do. And the mass. Nice accurate cast in. This one go. Nice. Got Dale, he's gonna give me a quick hand. Uh, got a couple of fish now. Gonna do a quick uh, piece to camera for Lorenz. And you guys will see that on the Lorenz channel in the coming kind of weeks and months. Um, all right, and then we'll start hitting back because I've got to get to work. <laughs> <laughs> and um, hit some of those spots that we hit earlier this morning and didn't have much luck, but now that that tide has turned, hopefully a few of those fish will bite on the way back through. All right, thank you, Dale. 
greatly for being so patient with me. Did my little bit to piece to camera for the Lawrence video um, that will be out. So this was about the Elite FS and Active Target integration. And now I'm slowly well, going to start heading back towards the ramp because I've got to get to work. Um, and yeah, so we've probably got four or five illegals now on a on, on a variety of lures, I suppose you could say, on the Crystal Alive and the Mus on the last couple there. But accurate casting is just so critical in places like this, where the fish are sitting underneath these pontoons and not coming out more than a couple of inches to grab that lure as it sinks down. So practice your casting, it's really important. in under that ladder. There he was. Yep. That was a little cast in in between the pole and the pontoon and we got him. Oh. <laughs> Just went a bit hard on him. But that's okay, we're on our way back. Ah, <laughs> that one was swimming away. <laughs> that one was going. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, yep. <laughs> they are just, that's like three or four we've pulled the hooks on. Unbelievable. Just retied the muss, just, it's a bit frayed. But, uh, pulled the hooks on a few now. I think they're just being a bit funny with the way that they grab it. Unlike some of the other times of the day or other sessions, where they just absolutely slam it and, and the hooks aren't coming out, whereas today, it's just been a bit funny, some of the takes. That's uh, oh, 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 what is going on? <laughs> Sorry, bud. You got hooked in the uh, pectoral as soon as it landed. <laughs> that was a interesting catch. That was a bit of a hail mary by me, but not worth it for a bit of fun footage. All right, let's keep going. Last cast on the plastic. Kind of in the middle of the downward side of the bridge. That's good school right under me as well. Just sitting at the back of the back of the bridge in the eddy, so to speak. Oh, yep. That was a good tick. Oh, that's good fish. No, a little Trevor. Not a good fish, but um, he whacked it and screamed off early. It's just such a healthy system with Trevally, Snapper, Perch in here and uh, and brim obviously, and mulloway. So we've got three of the five species today. Right, last cast. Yeah, there's a good one sitting on this point though. Oh, yep. 
where I came out. Oh. good way to finish the day anyway. It's the last pontoon before the uh before the Brit uh it's the last pontoon before the floodgate. Crystal alive. Smashed it. That little back travels fully in the mouth. All three hooks. Good finish. Alrighty all done here today on the paddo. Big thanks to Dale for all his help today with some filming. Had a great morning session out with him. Now off to work. Really tough morning, as you guys would have seen. Um, and I think the, the day really just progressed. The big key takeaway for me today was just the accurate casting. Had to land those muscles and the Crystal of the Lives within centimeters of pontoons. Otherwise I just wasn't getting hit. So that's the big takeaway for me. And the, uh, the other critical thing I guess was the fishing really turned on as that tide started to run back out. This morning the water was just really dirty, even with that incoming tide. So we found some cleaner water, some good current, some good structure, and started to pick up fish. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have, please hit the like button and subs consider subscribing if you haven't already. It really does help the channel out. So that's it for now, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Cheers.